So, you got rejected. Womp womp, you suck! I'm just kidding. Not kidding. You do suck. Not because you got rejected. You suck because it's weighing so heavily on your mind. I'm going to teach you guys today. It's more of a lesson for myself because, you know, I went on a couple dates, got rejected a little bit. And, like, reminded me of all the times as a kid. Got rejected by, like, just, like, life, you know? Um, whether it's a job or a chick or a fucking like, your family member, something like that, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to unpack that shit today. And we're going to not only talk about where it comes from, but we're going to talk about, you know, how to fix it. And it's actually not getting exposure therapy for everybody. So, where does rejection come from, boys? Someone leave it down in the comments. Just kidding. I'm not going to fish for comments like that. Please comment something for, the, for my dope bean. Rejection trauma... It's like an actual trauma. You know, there's small T trauma, big T trauma. Like, you know, someone getting fucking clapped. That's not very good. It sucks. This could be lower T trauma. Like, maybe your parents worked a couple jobs and didn't have enough time for you. Shit still hurts, bro. As kids, shit fucking hurts. And you carry that like an actual knife wound for the rest of your life until you, you cleanse it out. You put a little salt in the wound. You, someone stabs you in that wound and you realize it's still there. Basically, what I'm saying is if you have a huge reaction reaction, re reaction, to getting rejected, especially if it's not like something gigantic, right? Like logically, you know it's not that big of a deal, but emotionally, it feels huge. Probably comes from when you were a kid, I'm assuming. Let me do a little assumption here. You had someone who was supposed to be close to you, supposed to accept you. Who didn't accept you for one reason or another? And I want to be the first person to say, especially at that young age, you didn't do anything wrong. You were either so fucking young that you you didn't even know what you were doing. And it was more volume on that person. <clears throat> or you were a little older, still a little kid. And kids do shit, man. And you didn't deserve... You, didn't, you really didn't deserve to have that knife open up that wound. But now you're an adult. Going out. If you're watching this channel, I really hope you're talking to some chicks out there, boys. Like, come on, you can't just be an incel. I'm trying to raise a generation of no incels. That'd be nice. Um, raise a generation. All those fucking, uh, all those self-improvement guys say that, say that shit, man. It's kind of so cringe. That's a cool idea. Anyways, the pain of rejection when it's, with well, the pain of anything, when it's more than logically, I guess, what it should be comes from it being a wound in your younger ages usually and that wound being reopened or poked again so I guess step one take a deep breath I always like to take a deep breath it's nice I'm a little sick right now so I can't <clears throat> I think back to I'm stealing this from healthy gamer basically it's great you guys should follow his channel not mine think back to a time in your life before rejection would hurt. When you were like a little kid, let's talk about girls, for example. When I was like fucking three years old going to preschool, I had this best friend. Her name was Zoe. I wasn't scared of this chick. I wasn't scared to get rejected. You know what I mean? So think about that before time. Step two, now we're moving on to how to get rid of this shit. Um, think about the, one of the first instincts or one of the biggest moments... It could be recent, like for me, um, I wasn't that scared of getting rejected by girls until like two or three years ago. The girl that I like, oh, fell in love with her, cheated on me. That really hurt, I'm not gonna lie. I make a lot of self-deprecating jokes about it, but it really, really hurt. Like I built up this crazy fantasy about this girl. She was very reciprocal, whatever the word is. Like, you know, she super cutesy, would always like make me little things. Or, and then one day, just clapped by someone else not fun not fun so I think back to that that's my second step and the third step the most important think about their perspective yep and on the surface you're gonna go down like oh you know, she cheated on me because she wants a strong man and I'm a weak man Maybe that's the surface level. 
But let's also be a little bit deeper here. Like, you should laugh at that. If you haven't laughed yet, I'm gonna say something. Like, I'm gonna say this to my younger self. Bro, the fact that you were a weak man and this girl cheated on you <coughs> is probably the weakest thing she could have done. Not only that, like, I don't wanna garner hatred for other people, but it's like, try to be empathetic to their situation. You know, she probably held so much shame from her past or something that, like, think about her perspective of how she felt, right? I don't know what I'm saying. Like, I'm sure some of you guys have been through some really fucked rejections. I don't really want to say that to you, but I'm saying it for myself, mainly. Uh, a little side note that I want to throw out is the reason that you don't have to kind of just... The reason the solution for rejection isn't always just getting rejected more is because, like, take... Okay, take me for instance and amplify this to some of you guys might have it 20 times worse. You know, I really fell in love with this girl. We were always talking about the future. We whatever, 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 like super, like the most like compatible or, you know, trauma, but whatever. It was just so such deep love or whatever that feeling is, attraction. You think it's all good, doesn't end up good. How can you take that kid and go right away, hey, and kick him in the butt. Go talk to 10 more girls. It's going to be painful. Especially if he gets rejected again. It's going to hurt for a fucking long while. And then now he's so hurt that he's thinking more about... You know, like... He, the defense mechanisms are so high... That it's like, you're not even talking to these chicks properly now. You're just trying to game them so they don't hurt you back. <coughs> okay. So the point is rejection really hurts, especially if it's coming from something super deep long time ago. So for some people, it's like you can't throw them back in the game when they just got knocked out. Can't put them back. Coach, don't put me back in if I just got knocked out. I'm going to have to heal my concussion a little bit before I go back in. I can't believe I thought of that. That was genius. Wow. So the last one or two steps to healing, let me just really internalize this. One, two, three. This is one of the most powerful things I've ever heard. It was from Alex Hormozzi. Yeah, I actually really like the guy. He's fucking sick, man. God, I'd suck him. Uh, anyways, he said, like, we think about our past and our traumas like this. Like, I have intimacy issues because my parents didn't fix theirs and they hurt me. And instead of always saying that and feeding to that narrative, and this is a bad habit that I have for sure, especially doing therapy, is feeding into a preconceived narrative. So instead of saying, I have intimacy issues because my parents did this, just say, I have intimacy issues. And if you say that enough to yourself, like, I'm scared of rejection, not I'm scared of rejection because this girl cheated on me, it's going to start devaluing what the rejection was in the past. And just saying, I'm, I have a fear of rejection. Now it's just a problem. And then now you can put a solution on top of it. Awesome. That's step four. And step five, something that I always just like to say is pick the toughest path. Pick the hardest path at that moment. So for example, let's say you're really scared of rejection. You're so scared that like, you, don't, you can't even ask a girl out or something. <laughs> You might think that the toughest path is to play some crazy game and ask her out and, you know, make it right this time. No, nope, that'd actually be easier, I would say, because it's like you, you're you so guarded that if things go wrong, you can just blame it on the game, not yourself. Maybe the toughest path is just opening up and being authentic and be like, yo, I like you, I'll take you out. And facing authentic rejection once you feel like you've kind of healed a little bit. And you've internalized those things. Because at first, the first, like, four steps, just, like, looking back at shit and, like, kind of laughing at it. Getting to... Humor is, like, the direct opposite of, like, fear and anger, you know? And once you get to humor, you feel great. So the final thing you do is... Allow yourself to get rejected. Allow your authentic self to get rejected. Because there's no worse feeling than getting rejected by a girl or a person or a thing while you're faking some shit. Because you're like, damn, maybe I could have got it if I was myself. And everyone secretly really wants to be themselves and here we make you uh, this is so cringe the, i don't know best version of yourself giga i love you boys okay next video bye